Today's perfect day at Coco Key video is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can review cruise prices with easy to use cruise search. Check them out in the description box below. Hey cruisers, one thing we are really looking forward to on our Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas cruise is our stop at Perfect Day at Coco Key. It's 125 acres of sun, fun, and sandy beaches, and I can't wait, can you tell? Seriously, there's so much to do. There's pools, slides, sports courts, grills, cabanas, clamshells and water sports, just to name a few. But one thing we wanna make sure we understand before we go is which of these activities is complimentary and which requires an extra fee. Well, my friends, it was super easy to find out. After a quick search on Royal Caribbean's website, we found a handy table detailing exactly what we were looking for. If you'd like to do your own research, you won't have any trouble on Royal Caribbean's website. But if you'd rather hang out with us for just a few minutes, then sit back and relax as we go over what we found out. Royal Caribbean breaks Coco Key activities into four main categories and one random extra category called pools. <laughs> we'll cover this random one first and then match the other four up later. The pools category is in the complimentary section and includes the Oasis Lagoon where you'll find complimentary beach chairs, umbrellas, and towels. The Oasis Lagoon is split into three coves. You've got the family-friendly zero-entry pool, a swim-up bar, and a relaxation area. Be aware that the cabanas and daybeds in this area require a rental fee. We also suggest you bring your own towels on the island at Coco Key. Now let's talk about the remaining four categories. There's thrills, dining, beaches, and more amenities. In the complimentary thrills category, Royal Caribbean lists Splashaway Bay and Captain Jill's Galleon. Splashaway Bay includes five slides, three racers, and two tubes. Captain Jill's Galleon has 16 water cannons, four telescopes, five slides, a crow's nest with a bridge, a climbing net, porthole windows, and a splash pad. The slides in Captain Jill's Galleon are not to be confused with Thrill Water Park, which is available for a fee. Speaking of Thrill Water Park, in the For a Charge Thrills category, there's the Thrill Water Park, the Zip Line, and the Up, Up, and Away Helium Balloon. The Thrill Water Park includes 13 water slides, a wave pool, the Adventure Pool, complimentary dining at Snack Shack, beach chairs, umbrellas, and towels. Now those 13 slides include six at Splash Summit, the Slingshot, the Twister, four Splash Speedway slides, and then seven more at Daredevil's Tower. Those seven are Daredevil's Peak, two dueling demons drop slides, try saying that fast, the Green Mamba, Screeching Serpent, and two Manta Racer slides. Royal Caribbean has added cabanas for rent in the Thrill Water Park area too, which we're excited to check out very soon on our cruise. In fact, we've got one reserved. All right, let's talk about food. In the complimentary dining category, you'll find Chill Grill and three snack shacks around the island. In the four charge dining category is Captain Jack's. It's a la carte, so we assume pricing will be dependent on what you get. Now onto the beaches. In the complimentary beaches category, we have Chill Island and South Beach. Both have complimentary beach chairs and umbrellas. Additionally, South Beach has complimentary sports courts and some fitness classes, some, not all. At the moment, the only item in the For a Charge Beaches category is the Coco Beach Club that opens December 2019. It will include access to an exclusive beach, clubhouse, infinity pool. Oh, that's so cool. Complimentary dining at the Grill at Coco Beach Club, beach chairs, umbrellas, and towels. Now the last category is what Royal Caribbean calls more amenities. Complimentary items include freshwater showers, tram service, and beach access wheelchairs. What they don't mention on the website is that lockers are also available at no charge in some areas of the island. We think that's a really nice touch. For a charge in the more amenities category, you'll find cabanas, day beds, beach rentals like snorkels and spa services at Coco Beach Club and Chill Island. Okay, woo! So that covers everything Royal Caribbean listed on their site at the time that we filmed this episode. We're certain that there will be more activities and other changes as the island continues to be developed. If you're like us, you're probably saying to yourself, that's 
great. But how much does all this for a charge stuff actually cost? Well, it's a fair question without a definitive answer. Royal Caribbean uses variable pricing on just about everything, including activities at Perfect Day Coco Key. How much you will pay depends on your specific sailing. These things can change quite frequently anyway, so it's always best to check and recheck in your cruise planner. Of course, we'll have more info when we return from our cruise, but for now, that's gonna do it for this one. Before we go, here's our question of the day for you. What would you most like to do at Perfect Day at Coco Key? Come on, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.